Hi ladies, uh, I'm here today to show you how to apply the unique 3D fiber lashes. And first let me tell you how I came across this amazing product. Uh, it happened to be my wife's birthday and I was out at an antique shop uh, looking for a cute little trinket or treasure to get her for her birthday. And I bumped into this little lamp and out popped this amazing genie and he said, I will grant you one wish. And I said, genie, I don't want gold, I don't want riches, I just want one thing. Can you answer the perfect gift to give my wife for her birthday? And he said, you've got to try these unique 3D fiber lashes. I said, 3D fiber lashes? I've never heard of those. What, is, what does 3D even stand for? He's like, oh, honey, it stands for divine, delicious, and dazzling. I was like, all right, well, how much are these going to cost me? How much is it going to set me back, Jeannie? He said, 29 bucks. I said, all right, sold. So I bought them for her, and she loved them. The rest is history. So it comes in this unique, fabulous black case. You pop it open, and there are two wands inside. The first is your transplanting gel, which is your sticky base coat. And then the shorter tube is your fibers. And these are actual natural green tea fibers. And so it's a two-step process. And you can do this on a base coat of mascara or you can do it on your natural eyelashes. I don't want to do the mascara part, so we're just going to do it as it comes. So I like to leave both tubes open because you're going to want to do the fiber lashes after doing the transplanting gel immediately. So, you start with your transplanting gel and go ahead and apply a coat of that to your lashes. And I can tell you after many scientific studies, it's been proven time and time again that you get the same amazing fabulous results whether your mouth is open or closed. Alright, that's almost done. Then I go over to my green tea fibers. And as you apply those fibers, they actually stick to the transplanting gel and build volume and length. And then after you do your fibers, you finish one last time with the transplanting gel. That just locks those fibers in. And one of the questions that I always get asked when it comes to the 3D fiber lashes is, how water resistant are they? And I can tell you after um, many nights of watching chick flicks with my wife, that they are completely chick flick approved. Uh, they're gonna, not gonna, you're not going to have to worry about getting those raccoon eyes. Uh, when Rose vows to never let Jack go, or when Allie and Noah happen to lay down and die together in the old folks' home. You don't have to worry about looking like a raccoon after that. So here's the before and after. So as you can see, I went from drab to fab in a matter of minutes. So thanks for watching my tutorial. Let us know if you have any other questions. Thanks.